That's today's workout. Today is a cross training day for me, so I'm gonna be working legs. I'm gonna start off with some deadlifts. Then I'm gonna move into doing squats, alternating between front squats and back squats. Uh, today I have a heavier weight, so doing a little less reps, which I am quite excited for. So to prep for all my workouts, I always take Gorilla Mind pre-workout. I am not sponsored by them, obviously. Um, and then I mix in some beta alanine as well. Beta alanine I take mostly just because as I'm getting into more and more lead and top rope climbing, honestly, I just wanna see if beta alanine actually works for climbing. Supposedly it has the most benefits in activities that you do between like 60 seconds and three minutes, which is essentially like your anaerobic uh, capacity. It's supposed to essentially delay the amount of uh, lactic acid buildup in your muscles. So yeah, that's what I do for my pre-workout. Gonna drink that. Once I finish that, I'm gonna head to the gym, do a warm up and get this party started. All right, so I'm actually filming this several weeks after doing this workout. I had to fly home for a family emergency and then I've also just kind of had this general strong resistance to making any videos this year. So I'm trying to push past that. So even though this workout was several weeks ago, I wanted to see this video through. So let's get into the workout. After my general warm up, I took about 10 minutes to slowly build up to the working weight of my first set of deadlifts, which was 235 pounds. I really like to take these long, slow build up and weights it adds a decent amount of time to the workout, like this added 10 minutes of extra warm up, but it gives me a lot of confidence going into the first working set. So from there, there's six working sets of different reps and weights for each set. I was doing it every three minutes. So the first set was seven reps of 235. The second set was six reps of 245. And then I had two rounds of five reps of 250 pounds. And finally, the last two sets were four reps of 260 pounds. So for me, one of the biggest benefits of filming workouts like this is my ability to watch and critique my own form. This weight actually wasn't crazy heavy for me. I didn't feel like I was really struggling that much, but you can see that my form definitely was not perfect. Here, my back is a bit more rounded than it would ideally be. But to be honest, I haven't really been doing deadlift workouts a lot recently, like, and by recently, I mean the past couple of months. So honestly, I think I'm just out of practice. I think I just haven't been paying attention to my form. It's super, again, it's super important for me to see this because now I can see like, oh, even though I was lifting the weight fine and I didn't feel like I was gonna hurt myself, I can definitely improve my form so the next time I do a deadlift workout, I can focus more on straightening my back. And then the second part of this workout was an imam of squats, alternating between front squats and back squats. So the odd rounds were two front squats at 180 pounds, and the even rounds were four back squats also at 180 pounds. I love this series of workouts. It is a part of the proven track, uh, and those squats get spicy by the end. Right? Make it spicy? 
I didn't feel like I was ever gonna fail any of these, but I definitely felt like I had to try hard. But finally, I just wrapped with a bit of stretching. I hung out in the couch stretch for a bit and then just did a little bit of uh, sit and reach and then I called it a day. So it's a pretty basic leg day. You know, it's only two extra, three exercises really. But that's actually what I like about it, especially for cross training for rock climbing. I mean, I'm not trying to improve like my leg size. I'm not really trying to improve in anything that's leg specific. I'm just trying to kind of maintain and hopefully get them a little stronger. So I do this about once a week. I probably should do it twice a week, but I also run the other days. So I sort of count those, but I really shouldn't because it's a totally different adaptation that your muscles are getting by running and squatting heavy. So I shouldn't be uh, counting them the same. I really should be doing both. Um, but again, I'm not training for anything specific right now. So while I'm just kind of in this like coasting phase, this is good enough. Anyway, that was today's cross training leg day workout. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see what a training day of rock climbing is like, you can check out this one, which was a pretty spicy workout itself. Enjoy.